Okay, here I am again, and it's the 7th of May, 2019, and today's video is going to be more obviously tarot-related because I wanted to look at something that my daughter tried and she was mixed up with, and you probably will recognize what she tried to do because it's, it's kind of normal and it's the kind of thing that we all do because she, she's writing a book. Um, uh, she's, she's on Instagram if you want to look and she's put some poetry, little fragments of poetry up there and her name there is The Writing Saint. Um, Saint's a part of a family name, middle name. I don't think she's trying to be a saint, although you never know. But anyway, so she she's writing a book. It's fiction. And she got to the point where she wasn't, she had two lines of development or two plot lines, maybe. She didn't tell me exactly what it was, but she had, she was, she had option A and option B. And she wanted to, she wanted to know, the question was, what would be the likely outcome of following or of option A? And she picked a card and got the two of swords reversed. And then she thought, what's the, what's the likely outcome for option B? And then she got the four of pentacles reversed. And she wasn't sure what to do. And this is, a, this is what I mean about um, you may recognize this, because sometimes we pick cards and we don't know what to do with them, or we don't know what, what it's telling us or what they're telling us. So we pick another card to explain the first one. I think this is a mistake. I, I think you, you stick with the, with the first card. And I find that um, uh, cards that you use to explain other cards, it, it, I don't think it works because you end up trying to see what you want to see or I don't know. It just, I don't think it, it works particularly well. So the second, so then she's, the, the first two didn't work properly or she didn't get, um, give her an answer. So she asked or she wondered, um, should I pursue option A and got the eight of buttons upright? And then should I pursue option B and got the full reversed? So she wanted to know what I thought and also how come the first card, the the two option A gave her the two of swords reversed, which doesn't look very good, followed by a really good card, the eight of buttons. So what was going on? Does it mean that the first card was better than she thought? So that was the, she put this in an email, even though she's in Toronto, but she sent me an email with it. So, um, and so my, my reply was, what do you mean by outcome? And that's why this video is called The Clearer the Question. Because what did, she, what did she, and she didn't know what she meant by outcome. You know, because the outcome could be, it turns out it was easy to write the book. Or um, she was able to get it published. Or people liked it. Or people bought it even if they didn't like it. Or people bought it even though it wasn't a very good story. You know, you, you've got an idea in mind of, what do you mean by outcome? But it's better if you can be clear about what it is that you want the card to, to reveal. Because it's one thing to say, I don't really know what the question is, but give me a comment on plan A or on option A, and then give me a comment on option B. And with a comment card or a card that's giving you a comment, if it's a good card, you know, a good card, like the Two of Cups or the Six of Cups or the Sun or the Judgment or the World, a card like that, then good things will happen with option A or with what you've asked about. And so depending on the question the, and the context, um, you would say that, yes, people will like it or if, that, if other people are involved in the question or it's going to be have a good, a good outcome or whatever it happens to be. Whereas if you get a bad card, like the Eight of Swords reversed or the Devil reversed, you know, then option B is not going to work out as well. So that's one thing. So I think it's important to be clear or the clearer the question, the clearer can be the answer. And if you turn a card and don't know what to do with it, think back to the question because maybe the question wasn't that clear. 
So that's part of it. And then if, if you're not sure about what the question should be, pick it, ask for a comment from the tarot about the plan or about the idea and see what you get and do a kind of um, free, not, I can't think of the word, do a kind of spontaneous interpretation of the card. And that's a good starting point. So if, if we keep, if we, if we think about that, so what, what, did, what are you going to do with option A? And we've got two swords. So I'm thinking, um, I, I'll give you what I would do with, with these two, with these two or four cards. So with the two swords, option A has got two swords. So maybe one sword represents option A and the other sword represents option B and they're crossed. So it's as if in its own way, it's indicating the current situation that you're not sure which way to go, choose option A or option B. And the fact that it's upside down, I think it's indi an indication that, let's say six months from now, you're still gonna not going to know what the best thing is to do. So it may be that, okay, if you choose option A, even a few months from now, you'll wonder what would have happened if I'd chosen option B. It's as if the indecision doesn't disappear because the two of swords is upside down. So with option A, um, it may work out, but I think there's always going to be a nagging doubt. What if you'd tried option B? So I, I think the two of swords reversed. Isn't that purposeful or isn't that useful for or or? supportive for choosing option A. And then option B was the four of pentacles reversed. And I, I looked at it for a minute um, and I thought the person is sitting in the four of pentacles is sitting down, but it's upside down. And I thought this card represents sitting, not sitting, right? Which is Reminds me of was not was, but sitting not sitting, and it's as if because you you the person sitting there with a, the 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 pentacle around the chest and holding on to it, and it's as if this represents option B, the the story and the plot line and the ideas of connect that my daughter's connected with Plan B with option B, but also there's a pentacle on her head, so she, this is what she thinks about. It's gone to her head. And it's on her, under her feet as well. So she's been building on that. And somebody once said something about, if you want to write a book, you have to be willing to write 100,000 words and throw them all away. Because first drafts are not very good. Or your first ideas aren't, as going, aren't going to be as good as they would have been or as they would be if you were to rewrite. And it seemed to me, looking at this Four of Pentacles reversed, it's sitting, not sitting. So at the moment she's sitting and she's got, she's kind of fixed and fixated on this plot line as it's developing or as she's making it work in option B. And she's sitting, but because it's upside down, I think in this case it's saying relax. If you relax and, and stand up and move around, then you'll find that um, the story will unfold or the plot will actually become very different from what you think it is at the moment. But it's a bit like with the Four of Pentacles upside down. Um, on the one hand, you're fixed or fixated on what you've been thinking about, what you've been working with. But um, the fact that it's upside down means relax, and stand up and move around and see what is actually there as well, or see what's there instead. Um, so I would go with option B. Anyway, so then she picked two other cards. The Eight of Batons, the good card, the arrows flying through the air, reaching their goal, goes with the Two of Swords reversed. So I think it, it can be that you find that option A is easy easy to write. It's It's it comes easily, it's, um, it's going to flow. So if you want, and this is why where it depends what you want. If she wants to, to get the story written and get it done, 
then go with option A because the the the, the eight batons flying through the air, th the thoughts will come easily. The story will not exactly write itself, but it'll it'll, it'll come fairly quickly and easily because the arrows are almost touching the ground, representing the end point. Whereas the second card that goes with the Four of Pentacles reversed was the Fool reversed. And it's a bit like, what do you want? Do you want things to come easily or do you want a challenge? To write a really good book instead of a quite good book. And do you want a challenge is the Fool reversed. It's hard, it's hard going. But in the end, it's, don't want to say revolutionary, but it's quite spectacular because it's the fool and it's new and it's adventurous and it's stimulating and it's inspiring. So what kind of book does she want to write? What kind of story does she want to produce? One that comes easily and maybe is run of the mill and you've seen it all before. It's a good story. It's a good read, but it's all been done before. Or is she interested in doing something that hasn't been done before or hasn't been done quite that way? Um, which would be option B. And if she were to sit and I know that something I was thinking about before this is I know the person the two of swords is sitting as well but I didn't notice that when I looked at the card and I noticed the swords that seemed to make sense whereas when I looked at the four of pentacles it was the fact that the person was sitting that struck me as first as being most important so yes I could say the same thing about the two of swords sitting not sitting but given the question and the card and what I thought of or what came to mind first. I went with sitting, not sitting for the Four of Pentacles reverse, even though it could have been with the Two of Swords. OK, I hope that was enjoyable for you. And maybe helped you out with um, what to do about picking cards and what to do if you're not sure what a card means. If you're not sure what a card means, work at it. Again, look at the look at the activity or the action that's taking place in the picture and do something relate it to the question and you'll be able to say interesting and good things and give a good answer. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back in a couple of days with another one about um an actual spread and a sample um that somebody did. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.